In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to unblock FaceTime in UAE Dubai. Living or traveling in the United Arab Emirates, particularly in vibrant cities like Dubai, has its perks, but using FaceTime can be tricky due to government regulations on voice over IP services. However, if you're determined to access FaceTime, I'll guide you through some methods that could help you while ensuring you understand the limitations you might face. First things first, let's get a bit technical about this situation. FaceTime, like many voice over IP services, is restricted in the UAE, including Dubai. This is due to government regulations that aim to control internet communications. But don't worry, there are methods to potentially gain access. And we'll explore them step by step. One of the simplest ways is to use an international Apple device. These are devices that were purchased outside the UAE and typically come with FaceTime enabled right out of the box. If you happen to have such a device, you need to perform a few adjustments to get it working. Begin by navigating to your device's settings, then go to apps and look for FaceTime. Once you've found it, all you need to do is toggle FaceTime on. But bear in mind, even if you have an international device, network restrictions within the UAE can still limit FaceTime's functionality. This means that despite enabling it, you might not get the full range of features or connectivity that you might experience elsewhere. If your device is from the UAE or you want to explore another method, you can try changing your device's region settings. To do this, head over to settings, go to general and then select language and region. Here, you'll want to set the region to a country where FaceTime is fully functional like the United States. After changing the region, it's important to restart your device to apply the changes. This is a crucial step as it refreshes your settings and might just do the trick. It's worth noting this method of changing device region settings may not work on devices that have hardware restrictions. Often devices purchased directly in the UAE come with such restrictions, preventing FaceTime from functioning even if you adjust the software settings. Unfortunately, in these cases, you're limited by the device's built-in limitations. Through this guide, I hope you gathered insightful tips on tackling the challenges of accessing FaceTime in Dubai. Remember, each method has its own set of limitations, but with a bit of tweaking, you might just find one that works for you. Enjoy exploring the possibilities and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.